Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org, our course Windows 10 training for home and IT users. In the last video, we have uh, we have done a video on setting up a real laptop from scratch. We made a backup. We uh, worked with some of the softwares for snapshots and all that for IT users. And we did a lot of hands-on lab in that video. In this video, we will talk about Windows uh, learning about the basic stuff like you know logging into the windows for the first time and after that playing around features and these videos are going to be in parts so I will try to keep these videos about 10 to 15 minutes and then we can make more and more and more because there's a lot of features in windows 10 so the first thing you see is your screen right in front of you this could be for home users and you know what do you do with this what can what how many features can you access from your screen and so you would right click here and you see you can do a lot of things just like you were doing it in Windows 7 auto arrange the icons right here and stuff like that um, other things are basic you know creating a, a folder is right here you right click and you click on this new and click folder and create new documents from here but the main thing in this one is display settings so when you go to display settings this is where a lot of features will pop up and you guys can play around with this display settings you can see right here if you have two monitors you will see it here and um, this could be a call for you if you're an IT person and someone called it hey this computer screen is very dim I would like it to be bright now this is a very easy call but on the phone uh, if you know about this settings you can easily walk them through or if they're at home you can walk them through now if you're a home user of course you're watching it and this is how you do it so that is basically you can do from the display settings notifications and action is where you can tell the windows that turn these notifications on and off now for example you could be in a me meeting room this could be a windows 10 laptop maybe you have set it up for the first time and you just uh, dropped it down there and people are logging into there's a presentation going on and somebody called help this hey there's a sound coming in while I'm doing a presentation can you make sure that is turned off for the next time or can you come down and please turn it off so now if you know about this you will quickly go there and just do it alright so easy but if you don't know about this you don't want to play around in front of people watching you and that just makes you more confused you know so this is where you come and just turn off the, f the notifications you can also do this from app itself but this is a quick way you can just come and see what what applications are using notifications and that's all right here apps and features it's a little different than what we have usually you would go to right click here you would go to control panel and you would go to programs and you would go to programs and features this is a little different than what you see over here you'll see the same apps over here also you see right here 7 zip 7 zip but you don't see 3D Builder in here. That's app. That's like your phone have play, your Android phone have Play Store, your iTunes, and all that. That's that's kind of that type. And the bottom right here, this is the Play Store. For uh, for uh, Windows, you have this. So when you click on it, you can uninstall these apps from here. Now that could be a call that hey, I would like to uninstall this app from my Windows 10. How do I do that? You really can't tell them to go to programs and features and uninstall from it. They won't see it there. So this is why you need to know that where they are. So it's right here. You can also right click and go to program features from here also on the top. And we're going to do this in a in a step by step method because we're going to explain some of the things. Let's just focus on the desktop systems itself. So this is where you can do that. And you can also click on the the traditional software that is installed on this machine. You can modify this right here. That's the same as like you're coming here and you're clicking on repair and change kind of things. So you see how you have more options right here uh, than here. So the other apps you can see you can uh, you, you have other options like app connector, calculator, uh, camera. That is kind of built-in apps. Some of them you can install. Some of them you cannot uninstall. Okay. So then we have multitasking. You can do all these features are a little bit extra features. You guys can go over that quickly. Tablet mode, you know, that's another feature you can use. Uh, battery saver is another one. Um, if somebody is complaining about, you know, batteries getting used and stuff like that, you guys can use all these options. You can come here, click on battery saver settings. You can change those settings 
just like you have it in control panel and you click on battery power options so you click on power and sleep right here this is where you can get a call that hey my computer at home I have to do telecommuting tomorrow and in the morning it's 6 30 a.m. this person logs in you don't come to work now how do you really turn that machine on it's already turned off because of these settings and this is where you will need to determine uh, if your management allow that and you'll just come and change the settings over here storage you can quickly see how much storage do you have on this machine in the C drive from here also you can also click on right click here or you can just go to the the folder right here like click on this little explorer click on this PC and it tells you right here that your C drive have this much space available new apps will be saved to this you can change the apps so basically if you're installing apps or things like that pictures you can see right here you, ch you can change all that from this settings right here you can also specify it while you're doing it but this is another option like you know if you set it here and forget about it then offline maps you guys can use this feature um, it's basically you can download apps and it will show you the maps um, right here meter connections and all that we are going to we are going to talk about this later on this is just a different way of you know saving your um, um, data if you're using your if you're on a data network default apps you can can come here and change the default app so if you have an email other than the mail uh, app from Windows 10 you can come here and change it meaning you can put Outlook in there you can put you know Firebird whatever whatever there's so many other so you guys can change things from here if you mess up for some reason you can come and reset it just like we have it on the phone you can come to about and in about you see that this is Windows 10 machine and that's a 64-bit system and that's the same like when you click on right click over here and you go to system and you have the same information right here but a little bit just a little different information from there so that was getting from your from your home screen like the main screen you what can you where can you go what can you do with this you can go all the way down there another main thing about windows 10 is the menu it is different than windows 7 as you guys can see on the left side you see all apps every time you install an app it goes by alphabetic order so you can see you have a and then C, D, and all the way M, and, and just goes all the way down. You don't see one folder, and under folder, you don't see that Microsoft Office 2013, 16, and have everything in there. Now, this is how it is. By numbers, you see this is like an application starts with a number. It will be on the top right there. You can also create groups on the tiles. These right here are tiles. And in tiles, you have a quick way of seeing an, live data from app, or you know things that you want to uh, put it on put it in here the only problem with this is that you have to you have to know if if these are like you know heavy internet usage because if you are on like something you, uh, internet that you bought like you know you pay for the internet uh, and you have very less amount of data then this is kind of data you know you have to look at what kind of tiles you have because you could have something something very uh, you know um, data eater type of apps are running and every, because it's live you know everything's changes lively so it's pretty great option but still you have to look into that well we will come back to this option again like I said you can make groups you can say my favorite and you put tiles and uh, right here uh, you can add more groups right here and it, you can, if you want to expand this you can actually expand all the way down here um, or you can also change this to full screen so that's what's in the start menu right here you can go to power settings here you can click on this and you can sleep shut down restart if you want to sign out on the top right here you see that this is where you can sign out lock or change account settings from here most used apps will come over here on this side and other things you can do is to when you if you want to change these names you can just click on it you see right here these are little two dots the lines right here you can cl click on that and change the names if you would like to name these groups now coming back to the start menu again for an IT person if you want to quickly troubleshoot or uh, you know do things in a, in this Windows 10 uh, you will right click here I mean this could this might be for home users also not only IT people but you can also right click and do all of these other things like you know sign out sleep shut down restart you can run a command from here let's say for example you want to go CMD you can open it like that um, um, 
someone say you know look for an IP address you click on CMD IP config you can do that and then see the IP address like that okay so uh, right click again and we'll see what other options we have search search is like you know l uh, looking for all uh, like this is a this is a search as using the Cortana smart search right now if you are not logged in with your Microsoft account it will ask you to log in to my to Microsoft account then it will let you do this so for example if I want to search about job skills share dot org it is saying that it found the site right here so this is, it will just turn it into site and then open up open in edge that's another thing that you know by when you op when you first log into Windows 10 by default it is using edge um, and I'll come to that very quickly so you can see if I right click that's where the search is going file explorer is your explorer where you basically see everything like desktop downloads and all these folders network drives one drive on the left um, and when you click on this PC you see all your drives right here map drives are right here uh, if someone call and say hey you know we need to add a network drive map a drive you can come here and add a, a map a network drive right here okay if someone call that I am uh, if you're working on something like for example extensions and stuff like that you know you, you click on the word and you don't see extensions it's a little different than other windows now uh, it's kinda like windows 8.1 you can see right here you can come and change some of the things like new folders properties history and all that stuff right here if you go to download you see right here um, if I click on this um, all these other options that are were grayed out you can see those um, again in this and when you click on let's say for example you want to see what type of file it is it is exe iso what is that you can click on view right here and then you can say hidden item file extensions file name and extension then you see the dot exe just start, showed up uh, this could be important when you do like you know naming and changing the files from one extension to another extension now you might be also working on something like um, app data folders for example uh, you have uh, you have some type of uh, logs getting created and that is in your app data folder I'm going to show you quickly if you go to your users you don't see that folder in there maybe that log that sorry when you go to the profile like this you don't see that folder in there now this could be you know working with Outlook troubleshooting Outlook or other things like logs are getting built up a lot of that things happen for example your iTunes they go to Apple sync folder and then there's another folder backup folder and it's right in app data um, so when you click on hidden items you see that app data just opened up this is where a lot of the viruses and things like that also hit right here so it's for an IT person this is probably a must know like in, in Windows environment you should know this where it is uh, a lot of calls because we do a lot of work in this folder like you know try to move things and troubleshoot things and you can see now local account Microsoft Outlook everything will be right here so this is how you uh, can play around on the top settings right here now if you right click again um, we have control panel this is where your main um, you know all of the applications settings firewall network hardware everything is right here now sometimes you might not like this and you want to change this to a small list like small icons you see everything in there now this is where your SCCM client uh, credential manager is right here another important one after Windows 7 so every time you go to like a portal.office.com every time you go to some kind of links and you click on it what happened is that it, it basically saves uh, you know all your credentials and you can see I have it right here also so that this will be important for troubleshooting when you when you have someone call you and say hey um, I am logging into my OneDrive and uh, something is not syncing correctly I am logging into the site and something is not right that's because they ha they have a, a cached account right here so you will need to come down here click on it and remove it all the way down there remove remove everything and then you'll have a fresh uh, way to log in like for example Outlook when you log into that one for the first time it will cache it here so sometimes it create issues so you will need to come down here and troubleshoot it um, this is why I kind of brought this up because when I talk about these things try to imagine things in your mind that you will come across some of the issues like these so 
and we'll come back to this because like I said if I start doing this one by one we will never finish this video so just 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 or this video is basic overview of quick things that we can do from here and not go too detailed in each specific section that's what we're gonna do but each one by one and then that's it you know for task manager we're gonna click on here this is the task manager and you can kill applications for this video this is enough uh, in this video because we want to do sets like this so from here all the way down we have covered in the next video we are gonna cover all the way up and then once that's finished we will log into each and every section like that and go in details inside the features like for example system and security and then we're gonna talk about system and security type of issues and calls and real just like I'm talking right now that you know this is what you need to do in IT this is how you fix things and that's your life you know when, when you in a help desk this is where you're gonna be working on if it's a Windows or laptops or a desktop related issue this is what you're going to be doing so thank you for watching this video this video will be uploaded under this section getting started and that's going to be um, another section and see you I'll see you guys in after that session we'll basically start talk about um, you know some of the labs hands-on labs like that as you can see don't get confused when I start like you know initial setup then I went to activation then I, I straight this is the third video after this because this was a lab okay thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in a different video